What's going on YouTube? It's Trent here. How's it going? Today I wanted to give a sleep system camping setup for the Toyota Tacoma that I have. But really you could do any truck like this. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, but yeah. Give you guys a quick intro to how I, how I have my sleep system for my truck. Uh, and the cost. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, not much to it. <clears throat> I got the platform there. I've got back here is the bed uh, setup. So it's about, I think it's a three and a half inch or four inch pad. <clears throat> and then um, my bins here. So these bins basically, one, they kind of represent what I would take camping and two, uh, while I'm at work, I have one that's full, that's sleeping stuff, and then the one that's in the bottom, I just throw my gear in so it stays all in one place and I can easily take it out of the truck uh, so it doesn't get stolen or whatever, you know? So that's there. Uh, as far as the platform goes, it's carpeted with a $20 uh, carpet kit. Well, not even carpet kit, it's an outdoor rug that I just cut and put on the uh, three quarter inch plywood. Uh, I got that at Lowe's and I got the three quarter inch plywood at Lowe's. Um, I went with three quarter inch because it's thicker, stronger, um, you know, it basically is going to hold the weight a little bit better. Uh, and I just used some Gorilla Glue and some staples to uh, adhere the carpet. In the corners I basically just had to cut out, um, and you can see a little bit better over here, but just cut out kind of a stair step if you will and that allowed it to fit over this section here um, these are two sections i did that on purpose so basically i can lift this one up stack it on top of there and then i left this completely open so that way i have uh, more bed access underneath there you can see this is just a, a two by six and there's two of them they're notched out and they fit right into there so this actual piece will lift up and I can set it on top um, if I wanted to so this is completely open pass through I might make a drawer later on but for now uh, works I was thinking of having something else go in there but um, you know it, it works for now it's open this was made completely out of all of the scrap pieces so it's pretty easy I wanted it to be one hand opening so it opens up like that and I just have some pieces I cut off here um, as the runners and they fit right in between here so you've got your whole cook system here it's kind of a mess but um, so back here I've got my two camp chairs uh, some food two cups a bottle for water, a hose for a gas heater that we have, but doesn't go in here. A broken French press, but it still works, so I'm keeping it. Um, and then I have cook set up here, some soap and a few fuel canisters, and then I've got the Coleman stove. So basically, this stove, I just lift this up, Let's see if I can do it one-handed. I set it over here. And then I take these and slide them into place. Lift this thing up again, if I can grab it. And then I lift it and it sets there. The bottle will sit up there and then I can cook off the edge. I have this whole room. Uh, eventually I plan on turning this all into one piece, uh, one of those like cook setups and that would be that. Um, originally I had another piece, another board that went here that was to be like a chopping board. Uh, it just kind of came in more of an issue, you know, trying to 
stack everything and all that. So that's that's that. So I'm gonna put this away and then I'll show you the rest. So the actual setup cost me less than $100. Uh, I got these two pieces for 20, or they are two four by eight pieces, but for 20 bucks each. I think they're normally 30, but for some reason she gave me a discount. And then uh, the, the two by six, I just got that. I had them do all the major cuts and then just these cuts I did down the line. And I kept the scrap pieces and made the box. Uh, so basically what happens is this comes out and then I make that bed up there. So you can see I leave this cover on it. Um, I don't know if I would leave this in the back of your truck. Um, although the shell does a good job of keeping everything watertight as the moisture builds up, um, I did notice that they're starting to get little like spots that look like mildew or whatever, or smell mildewy or whatever you want to call it. So I'll probably take this out and figure out a better solution. Maybe throw it in trash bags uh, and see if that works. This thing's great too, because once you figure out how you want it folded up, you can tri-fold it and then put your stuff, uh, you know, set it up however you want. But. You can see it goes back a lot easier. Um, when it's you know just set up like that and then you can throw these over it or whatever and that's that like it's pretty simple so that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed uh if you liked it just do me a favor smash that like button hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell leave a comment down below if there's anything uh you'd like to see more in detail i know it's kind of a short clip of exactly what's in here but um, you know kind of just want to give you guys a, a quick view of how I do my everyday kind of sleep setup that way it's ready to go when I need to leave uh, you know if I want to take a quick two-day trip 